let's get off the topic here. A lot of my, a lot of kids out there uh, want to play D1, right? And ideally, mm-hmm. everyone wants to play high major and then make it to the NBA. And you played in a high major program. You guys had success there, um, a couple points away from a Final Four. What's the best part of being in a high major program? And what's the worst part? Maybe some things that people don't obviously know about each, each end of the spectrum. I think for me, I was allowed to be um, a role player and then have a chance to go play professionally because I was at such a successful big program, right? Like if I had averaged 10 points and seven rebounds at Valparaiso, I don't think I would get any looks, but because we were really good and, and because people are kind of aware that like 10 points and seven rebounds is pretty hard in the big 12. Um, that meant that, that I was given a little bit of a pass on like stats and stuff like that. Uh, I think the, the difficult part is that the, with in any world where there's a lot of money at stake, there's going to be a lot of pressure to perform. That's just how it is. Right. And so when your coach is making millions, as opposed to hundreds of, a, of thousands, there's less patience for finding your way. Um, I, when I was in college played with, I was there for five years cause I redshirted, which if people are not familiar, means I sat out a year practice, but didn't play. Um, I played with 49 other players. So an average of 10 new players a year, right? So that was a very different experience from my brother who played at Colgate, right? Where he, I don't know that he has, he has some lifelong friends out of that. I don't have as many friends that are teammates because a lot of the guys were there for six weeks or three months and then (laughs) moved on down the line because there was that feeling that we just don't have time, right? Like we got to move on. We, I went through a coaching change at Iowa state, which also meant that there was a, a big um, exodus, of course. Uh, so I, I think as you get to those higher levels, it becomes a lot more like being in the pros where it's more mercenary, more what can you do for me now? And I can't imagine what that's like currently with the transfer rules and all of that changing. We had still some continuity at Iowa State, but I would guess that if that were transported, if that team were transported to now, we had a lot of guys who were the seventh, eighth, ninth guy that would have just left, right? And said, I can't deal with this. I need to go somewhere else. And then they would have been the seventh or eighth or ninth guy in that next place because there's, there's rarely can you just solve that by moving. Right. 